mutual funds with nomination. What happens to such investments on death of the investor? That's a topic for discussion today in the Market Secrets Investment Series. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that we at Market Secrets had recently launched Algo Traders program ATP. If you are someone who is interested in learning end-to-end algo trading, then you can consider joining our ATP program. I'll leave the link to it in the description section of this video. And with that note, let's jump into today's session on what happens when the investor dies leaving the mutual funds with nominations and i'd like to clarify here that we are talking about only the mutual funds which is held in non-dmat form for the dmat form the process is completely different so check whether you are holding the mutual funds in dmat form or non-dmat form so first let's start with some assumptions for this particular scenario okay so the first assumption is we have only one nominee for our mutual fund account so we have nominations that's the scenario so you can assume that there is just one nominee and that nominee is also a major also it's not a joint account it's a sole holder account so that's a, another assumption and like i mentioned earlier these mutual funds are being held in non dmat form okay so these are the basic assumptions for this particular scenario and what are the documents required i mean if uh, there is a such investor and he dies and you are a nominee so how to you know claim uh, that particular investment amount what are the documents that you would need okay first one is investors death certificate okay so whoever died right their death certificate is needed and your pan card i mean if you are the nominee um, you know you need to have your pan card and you need to have your kyc document sorted or if you are, you are already kyc compliant right that acknowledgement should be uh, good enough and uh, your cancelled uh, check leave okay you need to give your bank details and it can be given in the form of cancel check and your signature and it needs to be attested uh, by the notary public or uh, you know any court so these are the documents that you would generally need to submit the claim form for the mutual funds that was being held by the investor okay so you need to submit these documents and now how the application process is being done okay so for mutual funds in non-demand form right you have to fill form t3 okay if you uh, you know google it right or form t3 mutual funds right you will get it you can print that form fill it sign it and you can submit it and you need to you know fill the separate form for each fund house i mean for an investor is investing in five or six different fund houses right for example uta hdfc um, you know kotak stuffs like that right if he's investing in five or six uh, different funds then you need to fill the uh, form separately for each fund house okay so that is a uh, mandatory so same form you need to you know take multiple printouts so, and you have to fill it multiple times and send it separately to each fund house and you can submit uh, uh, you know these forms at the mutual fund service center so you know in all the you know major cities we have uh, the mutual fund service centers like camps and carvey if you google it you'll get to know the exact location uh, in your locality so you can visit any of those uh, service centers and you can uh, you know submit these forms okay and now what are the responsibilities i mean um, you know you are the nominee you are claiming the mutual funds that is uh, left uh, in the investors account but what are your responsibilities so first thing is uh, once the funds are uh, transferred to you right you can redeem those uh, mutual funds anytime okay so you can uh, redeem it at your own will but there is a catch you will be remain i mean the nominee will remain liable to the legal heirs of the deceased in accordance with the law so uh, nominee is nothing but someone who will temporarily hold whatever money that was uh, in the investor's account i mean this is applicable almost for all the type of investment if your uh, name is given as a nominee for any of the accounts you will not get to keep all that amount okay just be very clear okay the fund will be transferred to you i mean if it is a mutual fund right uh, you know you will get the mutual fund units if it's a bank account you'll get the money but the thing here is like you are only a temporary holder of that particular money what you need to do is like you need to distribute it properly among the legal heirs that is uh, uh, something that you need to know i mean if you are nominee you won't get to own it you just to, uh, get to keep it until the legal heirs of the deceased uh, you know claim that amount 
it's as simple as that so what is happening here is like mutual funds or even if they take banks right they're just passing over the responsibility to the nominees so they don't want this additional or legal headaches so they are just uh, you know transferring that particular responsibility to you that is the nominee and you know you will have to break your heads with the legal years you know, to settle this uh, balances so just make sure you're clear on that okay you won't get to own it even though you are a nominee you're just uh, you know temporary holder until the legal years come and claim that amount so this is how uh, you know you need to claim the money when some investor dies leaving you as a nominee for any of the mutual funds that they are holding in non demat form so with that we've come to end of today's episode if you have any queries comments or feedback let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to address it also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye